So MAG is a game that's basically trying to take the first-person shooter genre and put it on steroids and take it to the next level. From the ground up, we built the game to be focused on large-scale infantry combat. Around 256 players has been our goal. So we wanted to create an online multiplayer experience that would take things uh, a couple generations further, further than anyone had seen before. Create large-scale effects, large-scale battles, large events, have the players feel like they're part of a, of a much bigger battle, much bigger conflict than they would in any other game to this point. MAG is very player-driven story, so we want players to create their own story, but in order to do that, we've worked really hard to try to create a lot of character and a lot of interest to the world state. So the game's based in about 25 years in the future. The Shadow War is what encases MAG. It is the background of the world in which the people of the world have basically gotten tired with their governments pouring so much money into war. Fuel is, uh, is at a premium. It's hard to have a large standing military. So private military corporations have risen to the forefront uh, as groups that will perform the sort of duties and the sort of actions that government armies or national armies performed previously. So in this future, uh, in the Shadow War, these PMCs are on the surface performing humanitarian acts, security operations, defensive operations, but secretly underneath the surface uh, or the publicly viewed aspects of those PMCs, they are basically vying with each other for control of the contracts, the wealth. But as time goes on, the power of those individuals and the powers of those groups grows, and they take to more direct action to try to win contracts and gain superiority over their competitors. And by direct action, we're talking guns, grenades, and rockets. They're actually striking at each other, trying to weaken their opponents and strengthen their own position in the world. I think what's fun about the story is the fact that it's not too far of a stretch to be believable. And you can see what happens if we turn over too much of our national security as different nations around the world into private contractors. You can imagine how that might go a little bit rogue. But it's also set in a very near world or a near future state. So all the weapons feel very believable. All the weapons and gear are something that you can turn on the news and see people using now. So it feels really gritty. It's a, it's a future that's not overly dark, but also not exactly all roses. MAG is a game that I think will exceed expectations and is really bringing something that players uh, haven't seen before to the gaming public. But what I'd like to see is that the backstory that we've made, the work that we've put into the PMCs, the work that we've put into the world of MAG allows us to create more games, different types of games and genres that leverages MAG as really a soil to create a variety of gameplay experiences.